and welcome to Geek Legion of Doom. My name is Bobby, you can find me at Terribly Fun Films, and today we're looking at the documentary Ballerina I'm Not, which was written and directed and co-stars Francesca Zapatelli, and is about female professional wrestlers and or aspiring female professional wrestlers and what led them to want to do that, uh, what have taught them, their ups, downs, trials, tribulations, and uh, joyous moments while being in the amateur, semi-pro, or pro circuits for that sort of thing. I don't know much about wrestling, so does the documentary still work? Let's find out. Ballerina I'm Not has its heart in the right place. There is definitely a need for a documentary like this to showcase powerful, strong women who want to be in football, who want to be in wrestling, who want to do things that are considered manly or masculine and that want to uh, have fun doing it and not feel like they are being promoted based on their looks or being sexualized or anything like that. Sadly, that is one of the only good things I have to say as I just don't know where to begin with this movie. It starts very abruptly. It just starts with a voiceover from uh, Francesca Zapatelli, but I, I, I don't know that at first. And not knowing who she is gives her voiceover absolutely no weight, because I don't know what's going on. I have no connection to her whatsoever. Um, so what she's saying does not matter, because you have to know that it's Francesca Zapatelli, and you have to know who she is in order for that intro during the opening title sequence to make sense. And the movie doesn't really improve from there. Before we get more to the negatives, other good things about it. All the uh, people involved, from the uh, handful of main female competitors that we follow, to some of the interviewees uh, that were on their side, be them trainers or personal friends who really encouraged them, uh, other wrestlers, male and female alike, um, everybody wants the sport to evolve. Everybody is doing their best, and everybody seems very passionate about wrestling. But that's not enough. I watched wrestling off and on with my brother and one of his good friends uh, years ago. So I know a little bit about wrestling, but I mean a very little bit. And there's a moment in this document when they're talking about a valet and how they don't want to be a valet and they want to be all this other stuff. It took me through halfway through that conversation to realize that they were talking about like the jobs they had to support themselves while on the amateur or semi-pro circuit. Um, valet is some sort of term in wrestling for what sounds like a stand-in. Um, I could be wrong with that, but given the context clues, that's what it seemed like. Um, you need to know wrestling inside and out to follow that conversation. And the entire documentary feels that way. If you don't know wrestling, you won't know what's going on. If you don't know that the WWE and the Superman, uh, who's the face of WWE, is kind of a sleaze bag. Um, which, okay, that's actually probably fairly public knowledge. You won't necessarily know what's going on. If you don't understand all the different levels and tiers and kinds of wrestling, you will not know what's going on. And I had no idea what was going on while watching this movie. It is not made for people who want to watch a well-made, inspiring sports documentary. It is made for fans of the people this movie is about. And that kills it. It doesn't really have any style in terms of 
being a strong visual documentary when I reviewed um, 30 Years of Garbage, the Garbage Pale Kid story for this very site, Geek Legion of Doom, I had no knowledge of the Garbage Pale Kids at all. Like, I'd seen some of the pictures for them and I knew they were a thing, but I'd never seen the movie or anything like that. That film did a great job of catching me up to speed on what they were, on how big they became, how they altered their appearance due to a lawsuit, of uh, their lasting legacy, everything like that. So uh, I only had a few basic questions by the end of the movie. Uh, here though, I have so many questions. There's a moment where Frankie talks about how uh, her trainer and friend taught her to work through an injury and include physical therapy into your routine of training. But how she was injured is never actually brought up. How long it took her to recover is never brought up. This movie, that's the problem. The movie never gets personal enough with the people we're following to make sense, to work, to make me give a shit about these people at all. It's very frustrating. It's very surface. It tells me the most basic things. And then... It can't even be bothered to follow its own ideas through. After the abrupt, slightly awkward opening voiceover, um, Frankie Z, as she's known in the wrestling world, says she's going to take us through the history of female wrestlers. Talks about one person for about five minutes, and then we jump to modern day, roughly modern day, to follow some more modern female wrestlers who are either uh, about to retire or just being in their careers or you know things like that then about 20 minutes later we jump back to a different female wrestler in history and the movie keeps doing that the proper context is not there for this to make sense had voiceover opening voiceover aside had we actually started off with female wrestlers from the beginning and given a whole history lesson there Maybe this would have more of an impact? I don't bloody know. It doesn't work, guys. It actually is a really sweet ending. The last three or so minutes is very sweet. But as a movie, as a documentary about the subject of female wrestlers and their plight from the beginning of female wrestling until now, as the movie is slated to be released in 2017, it falls and it fails 110 percent giving this movie a two out of ten there's a great movie to be made about the plight of female wrestlers and their struggle to be taken more seriously in a male dominated arena this is not it at all as always thank you for watching Thank you to Leo for having me back on Geek Legion of Doom, and I'll see you next time.